Hi, I'm John DeVore. Welcome to the channel. Record review today and also a little bit of a break from record pulling for the show. Everything was sh shipped out uh, and there's a few more records that turned up in that search that I do want to do videos on, but this one is not has nothing to do with that. This one I was reminded of, I, hadn't, I haven't played this one for myself in years. And I was reminded to pull it out because I love it by recommending uh, albums to my kid. My kid, uh, who's a teenager now, likes to listen to an entire album on their way to high school every morning. Uh, and then they'll write a little thing. They'll do a critique on it. And so uh, I've been needing to replenish their supply of albums to pull from for this. And they're getting lots of suggestions from other people. It's not just dad's uh, top 10. But one of the ones that I recommended today was a huge favorite of mine that goes back to high school. When I was in high school, this was uh, beginning of the 80s, I sort of hung out in, it was like a cool crowd. We used to hang out in the in the courtyard, in the outside, smoking cigarettes and just being sort of cool. But the coolest guy I knew was not a part of that crew. Never tried to be cool. And he was this guy, he was a mod, and he introduced me to The Jam. This is a jam, The Jam, all mod cons. This was the first album I ever got uh, from the jam. It is, it is these days my favorite. It has gone in and out of being my favorite over the years. When I went into art school, I liked their first album better. It's a little bit more punk, post-punk, let's say. It's very melodic punk, very easy to listen to punk. But I was in art school and one of the greatest songs on that album, it's called In the City, is uh, is art school. And it's just, anyway, it's just, it's hard driving, excellent stuff. This one is a little less hard driving, still good up-tempo protest style lyrics, sort of anti-establishmentarianism. And look at these mod motherfuckers. Oh my God. Paul Weller, he's the main uh, singer guitar player and main song writer, uh, Mr. Foxton, the bass player. So my friend looked so much like Foxton, Bruce Foxton. Um, it's kind of bizarre. Uh, he even sort of dressed like him. I, I never saw my friend in a tie, but he would often wear these sort of mod style with, a, with like a blazer, very skinny lapels, he would have the bullseye pin, sort of the who slash uh, the jam bullseye pin. Um, anyway, great band. Um, Paul Weller uh, it, it is a bit of a creative genius. So he had a whole phase with the jam. This is their third album. The second album is not as good, in my opinion, as the first and the third. Uh, and then many albums followed this, and they did sort of veer off he started to have put like horn sections in them and stuff like that there's still a lot of great music out there then after this in the uh so the jam so this album is 70 into the 70s 78 i think um and they had broken up by 82 this is not going to tell me uh when it was released um but the jam was broken up by 1982 and Paul Weller had already gone on to his next thing called the Style Council. And then in the 90s, he became Paul Weller. He just did solo act. Uh, and it's all quite varied. It's all really good. It's Maybe it's kind of like, um, you know, like a sting trajectory. You start out with this band that kind of makes you a superstar and then you kind of do all this other stuff uh, as you mature. Um but anyway, it's great stuff. But this is my favorite Paul Weller bit of music. Great stuff. Hard driving, um, but super melodic. There, uh, this is, you know, this it's. I guess it's mod mod revival. Very very poppy, but edgy and super listenable. Thanks for watching, 
and I will see you at the next video. I should be able to, uh, my plan is to put out at least one more video before I fly out to Chicago for Expona. Um, and then I will definitely try to post some videos from Chicago. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.